This video shows how to create, view, and schedule reports. There are two ways to create reports, through Jaspersoft Studio or Ad Hoc Views. Jaspersoft Studio is a desktop-based report designer used to build highly formatted reports. To learn more about Jaspersoft Studio, check out content on the community website and online learning portal. Ad Hoc Views let you create basic reports and explore data through the web UI. If you haven't already done so, check out the Ad Hoc Views tutorial. Let's start by viewing an existing report. The UI shows a list of reports based on your security access. The filter panel on the left side lets you filter content by different properties. We'll take a look at a report that was created with Jaspersoft Studio. This report contains various elements, such as filters. In this case, cascading filters, where, for example, a change in product family affects values in other filters. Clicking in filter boxes lets you select values. You can also search for items. For example, I want to search for low-fat milk products by typing a string and then selecting items in the search result list. I can remove items by using the delete icon and then hit the apply button when I'm done. This report is set up to show selected filter values on the report page. It also contains an interactive chart where I can select the settings icon and then choose from a gallery of chart types. You can also hide and unhide chart values by selecting legend points. This report also contains an interactive table. By selecting a column heading, you can modify content. For example, like resizing and moving columns, or hiding columns by using the option menu. I can also apply formatting to any part of a table. For example, changing the alignment of the cost column heading then changing the format of the next column, which contains sales data, or other table elements. In this case, the product name group, where I'll change the background color. All interactive report changes are applied when you export the report. And depending on your security access control, you can save the report, or save it as a personalized version of the report to a folder on the server. When finished, I can use the back button to go to the previous page. I can then set my search filter to show reports that were modified by me. Using a right mouse click on any item shows more advanced options. Let's take a look at how you can schedule a report. The scheduler lets me set up various runtime intervals and calendar dates. For example, I'll set this job schedule to run at 1 o'clock in the morning. I can also set filter values that would be used for this job schedule. The scheduler can be set to output results into multiple formats and destinations. I can also send notifications that attach reports to emails with various options for success and failure notification. A report can have multiple save schedules. The Schedule Job page lets you view and manage all schedules associated to a given report. You'll also see an icon on the list page for all reports that have an associated schedule. Now let's take a look at how reports can be created from ad hoc views. When I select an ad hoc view, I must also select a report template Templates are created with Jaspersoft Studio and define layout and formatting properties. The Jasper Report Server installation has predefined templates. Here I'll select a custom template that was built with Jaspersoft Studio. The report template contains a heading at the top of the page that contains a logo, date, and page values. It also contains custom formatting in the table headings. I can then modify the report, for example, widening a column, changing a column name, and applying conditional formatting, in this case based on a Boolean value, or I'll set a bold font with coloring. I'll also modify a column label and its alignment. I'll also set conditional formatting based on a range of values. And then apply some formatting to other columns. including the number of decimals shown on detail rows for unit sales data. When I click OK, I can see all my formatting changes. I can see my conditional formatting applied as I sort and resort the column. The interactive report viewer also lets me search for strings and jump to different page numbers as needed. The source ad hoc view had filter values, which appear as a pop-up from a toolbar button. When finished, I save my work as a personalized version of the report in a folder. Right-clicking on any item brings up a context menu of advanced options. For example, I can edit various properties of the report. 
including the ability to apply language translations to report and properties that affect the display of input controls. Instead of having the filter panel appear as a pop-up, I can instead have it appear as a panel in the page. This concludes our video on interactive reporting and scheduling. If you're interested in embedding reports into your own web pages, check out the Jaspersoft Visualize.js material on TIPCO's GitHub.